I taught STEM, science, technology, engineering and mathematics for 20 years in country schools. STEM's essential for a healthy, sustainable, prosperous future. So I'd be distressed by reports saying that rural students like mine drastically underperformed in STEM, like a quarter of Australian kids. Now, STEM education advice seemed to focus on expensive digital technologies or forming partnerships with the university and industries. But I wanted to know how isolated, under-resourced rural schools could succeed in STEM. So I began to research. My research had two stages. Stage one was a hunt for high STEM performing rural schools. I searched through over 60,000 data items drawn from every Victorian government secondary school. And the good news is, I found 16 rural schools doing much better than expected in STEM. Stage two was an in-depth investigation of four of those schools. I interviewed principals, teachers, students, I inspected facilities, timetables, curriculum documents, and I analysed all this data to work out how these rural schools succeeded in STEM. Now, there are three things that each of these schools do in STEM education. First, they each hold high expectations for achievement and engagement in STEM learning, but they know that aiming high on its own is not enough and the STEM teachers give strategic support. They understand each learner's needs and interests. They talk about improvement, not just success. They support students to set their own goals and monitor their own learning. And they give generous help in and outside class time. High expectations, but with support. Second, sure, these schools don't have access to the learning resources that urban schools have, but they use their local area to give their students STEM experiences that city kids couldn't dream of. A mock body farm with rotting meat hanging in different locations. Collaboration with the local ranger to design and build wombat-proof storage for campers. Propagating indigenous plants, raising cattle, monitoring waterways, auditing earthworms. Rich local STEM learning. Finally, each school has a passionate, slightly maverick team of STEM teachers. STEM teachers with infectious enthusiasm. STEM teachers who trust each other and learn together, who see their isolation as an opportunity to work things out for themselves, to think outside the box, to maybe bend the rules a little to improve student learning. As one STEM teacher quipped, not many people come out here to check on us. So if we get something wrong, they never know about it. <laughs> so can rural schools succeed in STEM education? Absolutely. How? Maybe not partnerships and robots, but high expectations with support rich local STEM learning and a passionate team of STEM teachers. Thanks.